Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Bear of Engines here on this fine Monday morning. So, guys, came into the workshop this morning with two, three people camping on the doorstep, one of which brought in this transit engine. Now, this is a 2.2 transit engine, and this is going to contradict pretty much everything I said in a video about a week ago. So we said um, in a video that we do not touch modern diesels. Um, but if you actually watch that video, I did say that we would do the odd one, depending on what engine it is and depending on which garage was putting the engine back in. So this is a 2.2 Transit and this is the one, one of the engines that we don't mind getting in amongst because we can get the good quality parts at reasonable money. Uh, so this is Chris doing this job at CTS Autos. Chris was the one that we did a small turbo escort Cosworth engine for and also we did a petrol six cylinder BMW 2.8 I believe. And yeah, Chris will do exactly what this engine needs. So it's gonna have new injectors, all the rest of it. So the customers dropped this one in this morning from right the way up there. Um, so that's another one. We're just gonna get this on the engine stand in a minute and um, proceed to strip that and get it done ASAP for him. It's just literally a, a sort of go through. I think it's got us a, a suspect hole in the piston or something like that. So we're hoping to see either a cracked piston or a hole in the piston. Um, the other ones, guys, so there's three boxes here that have turned up and there was two other boxes that contain these bits here. So this is another full Cosworth engine. Um, I did speak to the gentleman about a week or two back um, and this is a full sort of, first of all, we've got to measure everything up, obviously check it all and um, then give him another call. But this is a full go through, I do believe. Um, so that's that one. And then there was another Cosworth guy. John, I spoke to on Friday, apparently. Couldn't even remember speaking to him when he turned up. I sort of gazed at him like a, um, a dead buzzard for a minute. Um, but he's dropped all this engine off. Now this is a two wheel drive engine that we've, again, we wants it all gone through. Um, and he's thinking about putting it in his Mark 1 Escort, which he's been doing up for quite some time. So yeah, this is just your standard sort of two wheel drive. Obviously the, we've just got to check it all through. Um, but that's another two Cosies, guys. But we've got these two Cosworths here that I'm doing at the moment. We've got the one on the boring bar, which is down there. We're just putting a liner in that at the moment. Um, so that'll be done later on today. And we've got the other one, which is the Escort Cosworth. I think that's the focus. This is the Escort. This is the one that's been uh, bored to 0.5. It's got the knife edge crank, which we balance the crank on its own. Um, and all I'm doing here is I'm gonna use the spare rods that he's got in the box there and just make sure we get the piston crown height right compared to the block. So might have to just machine a bit off the top of the pistons. I've got the crank in with the new bearings. Um, I've just, it all turns absolutely lovely. Um, I've just plastic gauged number two, just to sort of double check everything. And as you can see there guys, two and a half thou near as damn it, which is absolutely perfect on that journal. Just gonna clean that plastic gauge off now, put the other cap on, torque it down, um, and I'll probably leave that in there with the new bearings just so we know where we are with it. Um, so he can disassemble that when he gets it, clean it all again if he wants to, although it is thoroughly cleaned um, and do his own build, but at least it's together in one lump. The Land Rover Series 1, look, Isaac has nearly done that. He's had a couple of little issues along the way. He's had to take the front cover off a couple of times just to double check something, I think. Um, but he's pretty much there, guys. We're running out of bits. I had a bit of a sort out last week and he is pretty much there with it. So yeah, the Series 1 Land Rover looking absolutely lovely. And uh, yeah, done a very good job with the paintwork. Lovely color that actually. It looks a little bit lighter on camera, but it is, um, quite a dark grey and it is the an original Series 1 Land Rover colour apparently. What are we doing then mate? What's this? Well it's another Cosworth week mate by the looks of it. Ah, Coming yeah. today to two two people camping on the doorstep yeah. with Cosworths. John absolutely loving life. John, worst thing that's happened to John of a Monday morning. The last <laughs> thing he wants to come into on a Monday morning is more work. Mm. Um, so this looks like Oh, I've got the whole car in the here. The majority then. of the cars here. Nice. All fairly decent nick, but I'm not sure how far we've got to go on that, mate. Um, but yeah, so I'm just plodding through the Cosworths. This one here, look. All the cranks in and that. What I'm going to do in a minute is just size up those spare rods and do a dummy build, get me pistonites right. Nice. Um, but we've had another little delivery today, Isaac. 
Oh, and we're yeah. not going to be going on about it in this channel. It's going to be for a second channel. Just a little sneak peek. Just a little sneak it? peek. Going to leave that up to the viewers to decide what they think that is and where that is going. What do you think? I think it's... Um, what does it look like? Well, it looks like an engine of some sort. It does look like an engine. A small engine. It looks a small engine. Small capacity, but fairly decent power and yeah. high revving. Let's Definitely. leave it at that. Yeah, leave it at that. Leave it at that, and I'm going to do a video tomorrow for that. So I'm just boring out the... Just boring out the other Cosworth here. Oh, yeah. And Some liners for it. taking it out to one mil. But um, number one is very distinctly weird, really. So it was bored a bit on the piss. Ah, yeah. We've had this before. Uh, number three was the same, but not as bad. We can, we've managed to clear that out at one mil, but this one ain't so good. So I'm just gonna have to put a liner in it. Ah, but right. we've only ever seen that on Fords, funnily enough. Um, ah. John's had a couple of pint, uh, Pintos and cross flows like it in the past. It's not whether from standard, they were sort of bored a bit. Ooh, yeah, it's maybe. almost like they bore one and three and then two and four, because that's what uh, it's always right. been like. Yeah. Whether it's a coincidence, I don't know, mate. But um, so yeah, unfortunately, just got to put a liner in this, do a little dummy build, and get these ones out the door because I'm inundated with cozies again. Yeah, as John would say. Yeah, swamp. Absolutely swamp. Absolutely swamped. And what do you do when you're swamped? You go out for a little drive in the van. Definitely. And get away from it all. <laughs> <laughs> What's that on the balancer? Is that that cozy? Crank. That is a cosy crank. Yeah, the one that I've been looking for this morning. Oh, Thank right. you for finding it. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one, I've just balanced the, the crank at the minute, a little bit out on the, each of the webs. And then um, I've got the clutch and the flywheel over there, mate. That one, is it? Yeah, so that might be a little job for you later if I don't get to it. Yeah. This is your baby. I forgot how to use this, really, now. <laughs> This is the one I'm going to be using for that, which I've got to put into this motor. But we have, right, yeah. we have actually got to put that bottom end together. So... We've got to do that at some point. Got then. to do that, mate. What's yeah, the situation with our um, washer over there? The, the washer? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I think what we're going to do... So we've got, the, we've got to get that in fairly smartish, because <laughs> yeah. in a minute we're going to have the E30 back, aren't we? Which yeah, has got we to go are, on yeah. that ramp. Um, so the blue wash there has got to go. We have got a customer who's pretty much looks like they, I'm going to try and convince them to take it away um, yeah. for nothing. So if there's any viewers watching and they want that for next to nothing. Put your bids in. Put your bids in. <laughs> hurry up and take it away because it's got to go within the next week. So that's the plan. Get well, rid of that. Good. And then that's going to go in that spot. Yeah. Obviously, ultimately, we would like to move all the dirty crap out of here, wouldn't we, really? Yeah. And, put it in a separate unit or a container or something like that. But yeah, it's oh, going to be it. nice to get that. Yeah. Get that up and running really. So be a bit more environmentally friendly, a bit more efficient and hopefully efficient. it'll clean stuff a bit better. Yeah. And even opened it up yet. Yeah, we can't even open it up because you need to connect it all because it's got a, it's got a, a magnetic yeah, lock on it. Lock on it. So don't, don't quite know what it's like inside, but I think it's fairly new. See in there? Can't see in there, mate. Nope. Nothing in there. Dark hole. And I suppose we better start clearing some of that up soon, don't we? Yeah, we need to start um, blasting, blasting gearboxes and I was gonna say, diff yeah. casings and stuff, don't we? Bringing it all back to life. Looking a bit sad there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we've just had the go-ahead on the V8 TVR. Um, yeah. When I say go-ahead, so far we have obviously board and face the block cleaned all that up so that's looking like new now looking very looks nice mint, that. looking beautiful uh, we've got the gaskets here cylinder heads here look all gone through um, we've had to replace one valve because one was very slightly bent unfortunately but mm. it's all been ported you have a look in there look lovely spec that's now nice. um, we've got a tastier cam to go in this um, all the rods and pistons have been balanced crank assemblies all been balanced uh, got to do something with the oil pump. Needs a bit of a clean up. Yeah, there. and I think there's a oh, probably put an uprated pump in it. Um, but then we've got to put it together. So, yeah, looking forward to getting that one built. I do like these Rovers. Do you? 
Yeah, cool engine. Nice motor, nice Very and simple. Very versatile, aren't they? Yeah, and they're light, really, for what they are. Yeah. So a bit underpowered standard. I think some of the standard Rovers are a bit... Yeah, but you say that, but that's for the reliability, isn't it? It's yeah, just, I suppose. They just keep going on. Yeah, but this is um, this would be nice when it's done. Look forward mm. to seeing what this produces. So, how are you getting on with the uh, Land Rover? Um, nearly done. Yeah, <laughs> running out done. of bits gradually. Gradually running out of bits. It's just one of them. It's sort of all the threads are. You've either got BSF threads or UNF threads. Yeah. And then. Great idea. Yeah. So basically, every time you're missing a bolt, it's a BSF one. You've got to identify you just, the thread and. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. So it's sort of a bit like that. Um, but yeah, it looks but really I'm, nice, mate. Yeah, going to get it off the stand in a minute and get that um, flywheel, the bell housing on, basically. Oh, yeah. Okay. Lovely, mate. Very nice. So, yeah, we can uh, safely say we're back to being pretty busy again. Yeah. A lot of Cosworths. I've got to crack on with that normally aspirated in a minute. Is that in the next week or two. One on that bench, yeah. Yeah, I keep meaning yeah. to get to that. We've got all the bits here for that. Um, but we keep, I just want to get these two done and I shall, I shall probably crack on with that. Once you've finished that, I might get you to get on the old cozies. Nice. Another resident specialist. Have a little go. So yeah, busy enough. What's going on here? Right, mate, this is a very important bit of information and this is why people come to us with yep. the Cosworths. Right, so this... All this stuff for the two cozies that I'm doing here with the short motors, um, I think was all running at one point, but we had to check through it, make sure everything was good and, and all, the, all the rest of it. So first of all, this one here, which is gonna be going in the Mark I Escort, knife edge crank, showed you this in the last video, so I've balanced it um, quite, quite far out that, believe it yeah. or not. Um, haven't got the clutch and flywheel for it, so I've just balanced the crank on its own. Um, done my dummy build with the new bearings um to just check the mains clearances yeah and i've just basically they've supplied me a set of rods which have been balanced in the past you can see someone has um very nicely polished it all and lovely looks very nice well first of all we've checked the size so we always check the size size them then balance them end for end so i've checked the housing side and at the s first of all i thought i'd set the gauge wrong because it at worst, they're about, I think, half a thou to a thou and a half tight, these right. rod housings were. So I've obviously checked my bore gauge, make sure everything was fine, and it was. So I've ended up taking, at worst, a thou and a half out of these big end housings. Balanced them end for end. Whoever had balanced the rods hadn't done a very good job because they were about 10 grams out. <laughs> um, and they were, they were about 6 grams out on a small end, so I don't know how they managed to do that. So, yeah, what that means is, obviously, the rods are on top limit now. The crank is on bottom limit, so we're running on the slacker side, which is you want to run between two, two and a half. Um, so yeah, just goes to show that if you would have run this with the rods as they were, at worst, they'd have probably been down to about a thousand running clearance, which is not very not good. Not great, no. no. So we're going to get that cleaned off now, um, pack all this up, and that's the escort stuff done. Cool. Uh, we've just got to put that liner in for the focus. We'll crack on with that, mate. I do. Interesting stuff. Yes. So there we go, guys. Another video for another day. Thank you very much for watching. Till Wednesday's video. Have a great evening. We'll see you then. Cheers, guys.